Kia ora everybody, Rebecca Hollis here. Um, so a while ago I did a post around uh, 70% of New Zealand celebrities are uh, faking it on social uh, social media by becoming fake, uh, buying fake followers and getting a bunch of fake stuff. And it was funny because someone on Instagram that was buying the fake followers got into a bit of a, um, a back and forth with someone else talking about how they didn't. And they were like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm real and legit. Anyway, last week, someone else popped up online saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a social influencer, yada, 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 this and that. And the same person who actually got called out for buying fake followers, out of the blue, who I've never met before, messaged me with a screen grab of the other guy going, hey man, have you checked this out? This guy's buying fake followers. Not realizing, A, I know that they've been buying fake followers. B, other people have already been screenshotting all of his fake followers, sending it to me. And then C, he's messaging me, trying to get uh, clarity for, or credibility for himself, calling out someone else because he's been doing it. Dude, this world is getting nuts. So. I've got an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google Spreadsheets and I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to get every agency in New Zealand that represents social influencers. I'm going to put their names down and I'm going to put every single name of the people that they represent down there. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to work out if they've been buying their fake followers or not in the next line. And then I'm going to potentially even go down to the brands that they've been supported or associated with in that one. And I think I'm going to consolidate it all together into a bitly, a short little bitly thing. And then we can maybe run to sweepstakes to see if we release it or not. And just do once and for all an expose of who in the ecosystem has been truly, truly faking it. Because after the last video that it went apeshit, I have still yet to see an agency come out in public to talk about, uh, to talk about uh, about it or to use it as ammo to be able to lead the charge to say we agree this is not right and we're going to put a mandate on anyone who signs a contract to be able to um, be able to be, be legit they're not listening it's getting frustrating people are still getting screwed I think it's time we do something about it so who's with me who thinks we should create the spreadsheet of who is faking it in New Zealand social influences